Hello and welcome back to Gotham Sound and Communications coverage of NAB 2024, day two, getting close to lunch, uh, here with two very special people, um, Jared and Trey, Jared Elkin of Minnesota, and Trey LaCroix of California and now Salt Lake City. Yeah, um, hire me anywhere. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Have, plane, will travel. Um, thanks for being here with us and thanks for being great customers. I, yeah. I know both Absolutely. of your names from the phone and from the internet and we're, we, we're very appreciative of both of you and all of our customers. But you are both here representing uh, a brand today. Yes. So what do, you, what do you got? Mm -hmm. So unfortunately the, the lovely people at Bubble Bee couldn't make it due to an illness. But they, as one of the beta testers, I had been sent two models of their uh, their new Wind Bubble Pro. You can see that. So, if people have used the Bubble Bee Wind Bubbles before, they'll know that there were two drawstrings on the side. They were meant for different classes of mics, and what you'd have to do is kind of pull it apart and fit it in. And a lot of times, depending on the size of the mic, based on the different size of Wind Bubble, you could get rattling around. And so, what you had to do is put a, a foam on it. It was usually people's workaround for that. This new model is a lot nicer and more specific. So these are specifically for uh, DPA 6060 and 6061s. And so right here we have the, the WinBubble Pro Standard and the WinBubble Pro Extreme. So the difference, in, difference is just thickness and size. But what it does is it has this rubber fitting for it. So you don't need to add anything else. You just slip it straight on and it'll work like that and there, no rattling around and it gives really excellent wind coverage. So we have this here so that we can test this and you guys can hear, let's just blow into this mic. Probably sounds- Get it closer. Oh, uh, there we go. Yeah, there it probably go. sounds really bad. Oh God, oh, okay. okay, that was so terrible. Let's, Sorry let's everybody. Do it. Let's do it now with the wind bubble on. Uh huh. Okay, there we go. So it, it's definitely not, not hitting it directly no, anymore. It's not hitting it directly. And then we can put the extreme, uh, the, the pro extreme on. Mm -hmm. All right. And it, it really, it, it doesn't, you know, I, I know that there's a lot of worries, especially with early 6060s, that if you stuck it on something and you tried to yank it, you'd, uh, you'd remove the cap. These hug it really nicely, but not too hard. It, it's mm -hmm. not going to fall out. It was, they, they really worked on the sizing of these. So here's it with the extreme pro. I mean, you hear the wind, but only so much as that it is. It's wind. It's yeah. wind. Yeah. We hear wind, but is it is it blowing on the mic capsules, yeah, it is, protecting it, is, it from extreme extreme winds? It is definitely not causing the amount of ear and, pain that was happening yeah. before. I know, and and I had an opportunity to test these in like a turbine uh -huh. uh, test facility, and I was so excited. I'm going to take pictures. This is going to be amazing. And then they were like, NDA, you can't take any photos in here at all. And oh. I'm like, this is perfectly not perfect. So I wanted to show it in that environment, but there was just crazy winds. And it was really, really excellent because it, the winds would surround the body. It wasn't just even with the back towards the turbine mm -hmm. and it would blast into this. And it makes me think of times where I've done projects in the blizzards on weather channel things. And, and it really, this would be really helpful. I mean, especially with one that's this size that you know, that you could expose it. But a lot of times winter coats have an opening, they, they come forward so that you really do have an area where you can fit it. And a lot of times people think, oh, I don't need the wind protection because there's a wind block in the coat. You don't need it until you do. And then until a gust blows in right at a crucial moment in a live feed, or even just something with reality that you can't get again, yep. you know? And so these, um, these, these are really, really cool. I, I think this is, not just an incremental upgrade. This is like a, this is a really, a really useful upgrade to get it specifically for the mic that you want. So uh, a couple of things. So I, I know that Bubble Bee has decreased um, the price on their former Wind Bubble, and these are now the the same price as the Wind Bubble was. Yes. Um, which is great. And these, if you look at the construction of it, it really looks similar to like a, a miniature Wind Killer. Uh, you know, with that kind of rubberized seal around the microphone where you're getting a exactly. good fit. Can we hear the, the transparency if you give it back to Trey? And, uh, you know, Trey, tell us uh, about, you know, anything you want. Um, you know, maybe your favorite color. People love color. My favorite color? All right. Put this guy back on. 
you got the hard questions. You do. Yeah. yeah. Don't worry. You're going to ask what your favorite <laughs> color is too. My my favorite color is green. Oh, very nice. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Okay. My company color is blue, but my favorite color is green. Okay. Very good. Uh, so, I mean, sounds pretty transparent. Hard to hear over the internet, I'm sure. But I mean, you sound crisp, clear. Yeah. Good. Okay. Yeah. And your can... favorite color? Blue or orange? Blue or orange? Okay. Yes. Blue orange. You can't. You can't see. His the rest favorite of my color face. is blue or orange. Yes. Got it. I have this mic. Didn't really answer the question. That's. Oh, <laughs> blue. Blue. It there used we go. to be orange. It used to be. I got it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Um, all right, guys. So you know, listen. Uh, let me just check the the internet to see if there are any. Uh, oh, good. So Almanox uh, asked about earphones. I don't know what that means, but maybe you can tell me, Almanox. Um, he wanted to know how these affect the sound in different frequency ranges. I mean, we kind of just did yeah, that Yeah, check one, two. Pretty transparent. I mean, um, I've, check, check, in check. my experience, Bubble Bee First specifically has always been incredibly quiet and incredibly transparent. I mean, I, was, I have um, the, uh, the, the cover for the Sonella Pianissimo, mm -hmm. and I, I couldn't love it more. Yeah, it is, it's, it's, it's almost more. like, it's basically like it's not even there. I use their fur for my lobs anytime I use fur. And then I have some wind bubbles. And truth be told, I, I tended before to specifically reach for the pieces of fur, the square pieces and covering them up that way because it was more of a task to rig the previous version of the wind yeah. bubbles. They, they felt more specific use case only for the most extreme situations. This is a lot easier. And while the, the, the pro extreme is might in many cases be more than people need. The the pro standard is mm -hmm. is nice and small. It's very compact, easy yeah. to slip in, easy to come off. It's not like a whole. I don't have to go find some foam that fits perfectly. Pull it apart, squeeze it over. Hopefully, I didn't bend the foam in some way. So this this is a really big upgrade for you know a line of products that I use constantly. Yeah, so great. I really like it. Um, all right, so Almanox wants to know um, how these are affected by rain. Oh, these are affected okay. by rain. Should I spit on it? Yeah. <laughs> no, do not spit there on it. There you go. Ew. Uh, I mean, you know, like, I, I can't say I've tested these soaked in water, but I would assume I treat it sort of like any other fur, just like you wouldn't take a normal fur out in the rain. There are specific rain covers for it. So I wouldn't say that you should dump water on these. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't call them waterproof at all. These are more for diffusing the wind. And, you know, I, they, they, they definitely diffuse snow. Uh -huh. Snow comes across it, and I've definitely used these in the snow um, and other bubble bee fur, and it definitely works for that. Where do you find snow in Minnesota? I hear that doesn't well, happen. This year, not many places. Really? It was brutal. I mean, it was like February, and it was like 80 degrees. Uh, it was freaking everybody yeah, we, out. The, we the didn't lake have much snow this year either. Yeah, everybody was really anyway. losing it. It was the first time we'd had snow in New York in about two years, so it was very strange. Yeah. Um, cool. That's where it went. Yeah, exactly. We stole it. <laughs> Um, all right, so yes, uh, Almanox, the, to clarify the, the earphone statement, apparently we blew his ears out with, uh, with the blowing on the mics. I'm so sorry oh. for anybody listening at home. Um, <laughs> you know, my ear pain is your ear pain. I apologize. <laughs> um, so, all right, well, that, great stuff. We'll, we'll keep this open for questions, but, um, you know, I asked you guys while we were getting ready what you'd seen at NAB that you were excited about. So, you know, tell us, tell us live. Um, I'm really interested in the new transmitter both the, the new Limo transmitter and the plug-on transmitter at Deity because the plug-on will power a digital boom. And the, the Limo transmitter, it's 3-pin Limo instead of 3.5 millimeter, and it can also provide phantom power. Mm -hmm. And the, the audio quality and noise floor in the Deity projects kind of blew me away. I, I never expected something at its price point to compete with brands that are much, much more expensive. Yeah, that and the Easy Rig thing. I really yeah, got that, a lot of they, people lot, were talking about it yesterday. About the Easy Rig. <laughs> I, I saw it on the pictures yesterday because I wasn't here. I liked. I used it yesterday, and uh, I, if you're just straight booming, I liked it. I thought there were a lot of really great ways to relieve stress and tension, and, and like held it up for a long time without getting fatigued. I don't know if I'd want a bag on it. Uh, I know they're they're advertising it to put a bag on, but. Uh, it's just straight boom hopping. I think there's some great, uh, great uses for it. I think it's worth a shot, everybody. Okay. Very um, cool. The Sheps is cool. The Sheps uh, uh, digital cap or digital preamp is really cool. CMD. Um, yeah. Yeah, and they they've got a whole app that has 
filters from you can you can uh, sort of change the frequency response of your capsules a little bit and um, uh, they, I don't know just lots of really cool stuff and then the Zaxcom uh, v, VRX yes. transmitter that is yeah, going to go into the Nova oh yeah I'm excited to just have a Nova in a bag and nothing else this is a that good is contrast a, he's a he's a Zaxcom user I'm a sound device yeah. user and you guys are still friends we are. No, it, we are. It, it, it can happen <laughs> yeah that's great. All right. Well, you know, dogs and cats living together, pandemonium. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Um, anything else for you guys that you want to say? I mean, thanks so much for being here. Yeah. Oh, thanks thank for having you. us. Yeah. Thank you very much for having us. I mean, there's only so much to say, but what we have to say is good. Yeah. Uh, life is the bubble. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, all right. Perfect. Well, listen, uh, thank you both again for being here. Thank you all for watching online. Um, you know, thanks to all our vendors. Thanks to all our customers. Uh, you know, I don't know. I just I'm in a thank you uh, spiral. So anyway, stay tuned. We'll be right back with Phonak uh, in just a few minutes.